Another question for you is regarding a person who has a wet dream during the day whilst he's fasting. Is this an act which would nullify the fast? Is it permitted for a person to have a wet dream during the day whilst he's fasting? If a person has a wet dream during the day while having a fast, maybe you offer Fajr Salah and he sleeps and he has a wet dream, it is involuntary. A person has a wet dream, even if he ejaculates, it's involuntary, he's not to be blamed for that. So in this case, because it's unintentional, surely it will not break the fast. And he can complete the fast. And the thing that is advised to him is that he should have a ghusl, a bath, as soon as possible, so that he can offer the salah. Ah, that's excellent. I think that's self-explanatory. Thank you for that. Another question, very much related to the last one, I feel. Um, is a person allowed to be in a state of sexual impurity whilst they're fasting? As far as the question that can a person be in a state of sexual impurity, that depends if, as long as he does not do any haram act during the fast. For example, it's mentioned in the hadith of Muslim, in Sahih Muslim, volume number two, hadith number 2453, it's mentioned that Umm Salma, may Allah be pleased with her, was the wife of the Prophet. She says that the Prophet got up from his sleep in a state of sexual defilement, state of sexual impurity, while he was fasting, and he had a bath, and he continued his fast. Further, there's a similar message given in Sahih Bukhari, volume number three, in the book of fasting, hadith number 1925, and the hadith is narrated again by Umm Salma, may Allah be pleased with her, and Hazrat Naisha, may Allah be pleased with her too, both are the wives of the Prophet, and they said that the Prophet used to get up in the morning in a state of sexual defilement because he had intercourse with the wife, not because of a sexual dream, and he used to have a bath, and he never used to compensate the fast later on. This proves that being in the state of junub, sexual defilement or sexual impurity, does not nullify the fast. Even if a person has a wet dream in between, his fast is valid. The only point to be noted is that the person should have a bath as soon as possible. If he gets up in the morning after dawn breaks, and if he is in a state of sexual impurity, he should have a bath immediately so that he can offer the salah of fajr. Or if he sleeps after fajr salah and has a wet dream, and then become sexually impure. So you should have a bath at least before the Zuhar Salah so that you can offer the Zuhar Salah after having a ghusl.